Hey everyone, Ava Paul here, and today we have another Transformer figure to look at. It's going to be a Takara Tommy and a Hasbro one again, and this time it's part of the Masterpiece line. It's MP55 Destron Ninja. Now, uh, this character only made one appearance in the show, or the, uh, the original anyway. Uh, it was season two, pretty early on also I think. Yeah, just an outer box, not much there. Says the same thing on every side. So what is inside of it? I don't know. Is there going to be a box inside the box? Why, yes. Yes, there is. Nice. I like it. Uh, let's see, this one is called Nightbird Shadow. Alright, long life design. I like how it says masterpiece here in metallic print. Shiny. You see the car mode and the I can't remember, did it have a car mode on the in the episode she was in? I don't think so. I don't think it did. I could be wrong. But of course she turns into one of the uh, Cybertron cars. It's like that's what they always turn into, all the females. I don't know why. So you get a lot of different poses. Cool. Can't understand any of this. There's a little box here. Looks like those are all the accessories. Alright, well, why don't we get it open and take a closer look. Alright, and right out of the box, she's already in her alt mode, which is Stealth Car. Now, I was wrong about the name. It's Nightbird Shadow. I don't know why I was thinking it was uh, Destron. I could have sworn she was called Destron, but no. It's Nightbird Shadow. Just like her card she came with it even says, Nightbird Shadow. So, I guess she has had more of an appearance, not just in that one episode. She's also in, like, a comic series. Then they have, like, clones of her in another one, something like that. I don't know. I've only seen her in that one episode. But, so she has a green windshield, or well, yellow see-through windshield. She got stylish purple seats. I would assume maybe they're leather. Got a nice spoiler here. And the wheels do move. And right here in the front, we got the Decepticon logo. Really sleek and stylish. See a little bit of yellow right here. In the back, got some yellow. Now, those are some funky looking tail lights. Now, like I was saying, her wheels do move, but the problem is, is the underside, the arms, at least I can't get them to fold in more. So they kind of touch. I mean, the tires are touching the ground and moving, but the arms are also touching. If it was just like a millimeter higher, it'd be able to clear the ground but oh well I'm not gonna be keeping it in car form anyway it'll be in robot form on the shelf now she did come with other things besides a car you know you got the directions here pretty cool really big it's a big it's like a poster gotta unfold all that Ugh. I love this part here she has a fling squirrel mode <laughs> what the heck it just looks like a bunch of the her things attached to the car to make that. So let's uh, go over some of the stuff she came with. And then maybe we'll put them on the car itself. So we got two of these kind of blades. I guess they're supposed to be like swords. She's got two of them. Throwing stars. Very cool. And she comes with two of them. And she came with some size. So like she's Raphael now. Crossover between Ninja Turtles. I don't know what this piece is. <laughs> I don't know at all. I'm sure I'll figure it out once I go through the directions. And she comes with a blaster here. Pretty sleek. But I think what I like more than the blaster is the pistol. 
just because it has a little bit of a extra color on there. A little bit of yellowish orange. It's like she also crosses over with Star Wars. She's got two lightsabers. Also came with like these energy blast effects. So we got this zigzaggy one. We got long one. And we got this short tiny one here. Alright, so those blast effects can be used on their weapons, so this is the one for the pistol, and then the one for the bigger one, the bigger gun, and then the bigger gun uses the little zigzaggy looking one, and then you can take off the lightsaber part from the hilt, and uh, put on the long effect here, looks pretty cool. Oh, and yes, I did figure out what that part is, it's a uh, gun holster. Yep. That's all it is. Now she did come with one other accessory. She came with a kind of an anime inspired face piece. She even has a little little like a worry spot there or tear. But I just call this the a gal face. <laughs> I don't know why. It just seems like that to me. All right, so we can put some of the weapons on here. We can take the sword here, which you can actually move that. But you're going to take the side, connect them, and this is what it looks like when it's all done. Pretty cool. But I prefer it without the weapons on. So why don't we go ahead, turn it into a robot, and look at that. All right, here's Nightbird Shadow in robot form. And I have to say, Daddy likes. This thing just really, really good looking. She's got her purple face mask. She got the purple belt with like the stars and a sun on there. I just love how it has this metallic gray with the black and the purple. Very sleek looking. And she has all those accessories. And you know, they fit right in her hand, pop it in, close it, there you go, alright, so yeah, her hand here has a little dip, so her weapons have little you know, pegs, just pop it on, then you can close her fingers around it, and this way the weapons don't come out or anything, and you can do it with all of them, they all have that little clip, even the stars do. You can see her holding the star, and then the sigh. Alright, then you can also put her weapons on her, so she doesn't have to carry them in her hands all the time. Then you can put the swords on the sides of her, like this. Or if you want, you can put the hilt for the lightsabers in the same spots. Then you can also put her pistol, even though it's kind of hard to see up here. You can unfold this little flap to put it in there. Alright, and then what you can do to put the other gun away, she comes with the holster. So this you can put right on her leg. And you can put it on either side, doesn't matter. And you know, just take the gun. And there. All right, and her final weapons. You can put her size right on her wrist. Pretty cool. So you can almost have all her weapons on her. Uh, if you do the swords, you won't be able to do the uh, hilts. For the lightsabers but i guess you know if you have her holding a set you could switch them whatever all right so one more thing we can do with her is we can change the face so to do that we gotta pop this up and take off the scarf and you can see she has a mouth underneath that and you gotta pop this up so once you pop the face up it looks like an endoskeleton underneath i just thought that was funny and that's what she looks like with the mask on. I don't know, I'm torn. I don't know which one I like better. Anime style eyes? Or non? Alright, so let's get to articulation now. So we got the head. They can't really go all the way around because it's got that part right here. But she can look up. Really up. And straight butt moves also so you can actually get it to go like this then we got the arms 
So they can go with the whole shoulder moving. And you can also just do it without it. And it can't go all the way around again because she has something on her back preventing it. But right here at the bicep, that'll turn. She's got double jointed elbows to get a very good bend. And then her hands, those will turn around. And her hands are so articulated. So we got the thumbs, those can go up and down. We got the hand right here at the base of the fingers that can fold in and then they can fold in right here near the ends and also the pointer finger is on a different set than the other ones so these three are all connected and if you keep going down we got at the waist she can go all the way there we got the legs. She cannot do a full split. I'll take that gun out. So, this is as far as she'll go. Forward. Ooh, I love that sound. Nice click clacks. So she can do 90. She can't go back though. And so right here, in the thigh, she can rotate that around. There we got a single jointed knee, but it's on a rolling, like a like a cylinder, kind of a ball. I don't know what to call it. But, yeah. So it's a circle there. But yeah, it's a good bend. Let me go down. We've got the feet. So, this is it. Up. I know, not much. Down. you got the toes. Those can move. But the feet can roll inward. So, like I said, she's a really good looking figure. I'm really glad that they came out with a masterpiece version of her. I'm surprised, too, that they gave her a master. I guess she was really, like, a big hit, even though she only had one episode in the original series. Alright, well, that's just been a review of Hasbro and Takara Tome's Transformers masterpiece, Nightbird Shadow. And, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. And, as always... You all have yourselves a good one, and I will see you later.